Pastor Dele Roshilu, the State Overseer of the Deeper Life Bible Church. We are bringing to you the program, The Truth, featuring salvation, life, health, happiness, peace, marriage, and child training, and many others. The message is brought to you by Pastor W. F. Kumui, the General Superintendent of the Deeper Christian Life Ministry Worldwide. Happy viewing. Proclamation of His mercy. The second letter, obedience to the Master. Give me the third letter. W is the worship of the Messiah. You see, that's how miracles come. No worship of idols again. No worship of money again. No worship of Nebuchadnezzar, a man again. No worship of ideology and philosophy anymore. You worship the only true God. You forsake all the idols you have been worshipping. Whether the idol of worship is Mary or Peter or Stephen or St. Augustine, you forsake them and you say, Jesus the Master, Jesus the Lord, Jesus the Son of God is the only one I'm going to worship. And I will not worship the image of Jesus. I will worship Jesus and Jesus alone himself. The worship of the Messiah. Look at Matthew chapter 8. This is how miracles happen. This is how miracles come. It's coming tonight over there. I said it's coming tonight over there. Signs and wonders. Deliverance and dominion. Great miracles, manifestations of power. Look at Matthew chapter 8 verse 1. When he was come down from the mountain, great multitudes followed him. And behold, there came a leper and worshipped him. Peter was there. He didn't worship Peter. James and John were there. He didn't worship them. Mary might have been around there. He didn't worship Mary. He sought for Jesus. He was a leper. Leprosy was an incurable disease. But this man knew the one that can take your incurable disease away is the Messiah himself. Behold, there came a leper and worshipped him saying, Lord, if thou wilt, thou canst make me clean. And in verse 3, and Jesus put forth his hand and touched him, saying, I will be thou clean. And immediately his leprosy was cleansed. As you come to Christ tonight, and you bend the knee before him, and you surrender, submit your heart unto him, and you make him your Lord and your King. And you declare him and him only when I worship. Because the Father has given him a name. A name above all names. That at the mention of the name of Jesus, every knee must bow. Not at the mention of the name of Saint Peter. Not at the mention of Immaculate Mary. At the mention of the name of Jesus. Every knee shall bow. And when you come like that and you worship the Messiah. 
and you say I'll never bow my knee to any idol for the rest of my life him and him only will I serve a miracle of healing deliverance salvation will come unto you the proclamation of his mercy obedience to the master worship of the messiah give me the next letter there e expectation of his miracle a person that is while you are coming you say i know this is my time i know something supernatural is going to happen to me today expectation you see it before you see it you know it's going to happen before it touches your body and then that's how we expect every time you want to go from your city here to another city you jump into the car and then you're looking at the milestones you say i'm nearer i'm nearer and then you see a particular sign it says welcome to then they mention the place you ask the person by your side how far are we from where we're going oh, and it says, uh, 10 15 minutes we're there and i'm telling you something a few minutes now and you are there I said a few minutes and you are there. The expectation of the miracle. The miracle is there. It's nearby. I'll touch it now. I'll get it now. I'll receive it now. That is what brings the miracle into your life. Mark chapter 5. The expectation of his miracle. Mark chapter 5, verse 25. And a certain woman which had an issue of blood 12 years and had suffered many things of many physicians and had spent all that she had and was nothing better but rather grow worse. When she had heard of Jesus, came in the press. In the crowd behind and touched his garment. For she said, If I may but touch his clothes, I shall be whole. Expectation. I need a miracle. I've been suffering for 12 years, I've been losing blood for 12 years. I've been infirm, sick, and weak, and feeble for 12 years. I've gone to many hospitals and I've not been healed. Good hospital, native hospital, village hospital, everywhere I've gone, no healing. And then she heard Jesus has come to our town. An expectation came in his inner heart. Twelve years of problems will be finished today. And he said, my focus is on Jesus. My mind is on Jesus. Not Peter, my attention is on Jesus. Not apostle so and so. My interest is in Jesus. I'm not looking for water. I'm not looking for oil. My attention is on Jesus. I'm not looking for the photograph of a one somebody somewhere and put on my head and put inside my scarf. My attention is on Jesus. 
I'm not looking for, you know, part of the cross of Jesus and they break it and then they say, put it inside your pocket. I'm not looking for that. My attention is on Jesus himself. They say, you are see, go take the Holy Communion. When you take that communion, something will happen. I'm not looking for communion or mass or sacrament. My attention is on Jesus. Expectation. Expectation. Expectation of his miracle. If I may but touch the hem of his garment, I shall be whole. Tonight is your night. I said tonight is your night. Pack all those superstitions aside. And say Jesus and Jesus only. Is my savior. Is my healer. Is my deliverer. Is my liberator. Is my redeemer. The Lord is my shepherd. Him and him alone, I expect my miracle to come from him tonight. If I may but touch his clothes, I shall be whole. And straightway, immediately, the fountain of her blood was dried up. And she felt in her body that she was healed of that plague. Power. Everybody shout power. Give me the first letter there. The proclamation of his mercy. The second letter there. The obedience to the master. The next letter there. Worship of the Messiah. What's the next letter there? Expectation of his miracle. Our reconciliation with your maker. He made you. He created you. Come to him. Reconcile with him. Jesus is the bridge between the sinful man and the holy God. Come on that bridge of Jesus and come to God your maker tonight is the end of your calamity tonight is the end of confusion I don't know what to do I'm, you know, I go this way problem I go that way problem you know tonight you are free in Jesus name Isaiah chapter 45 I'm reading from verse 11 Thus says the Lord the Holy One of Israel his maker Reconciliation with your maker Thus says the Lord the Holy One of Israel and his maker Ask of me things to come concerning my sons and concerning the work of my hands commanding me. Your maker is saying if you don't stay far away come near come unto me Reconcile with me. Everything you need is in my store. Anything you need. Come. I am your maker. I'm the one that created you. How is it to adjust suffering like this? Like a lonely orphan. And it says, ask of me. Of things to come concerning my sons and concerning the work of my hand, 
command ye me tonight a command of miracle will come upon your life command of forgiveness command of salvation command of healing that devil that tied the rope is a dry rope around you and is dragging you like this I give command to that evil power tonight on the authority of the word of God your maker we strike the hand of Satan away from your life tonight. Tonight is that night of total freedom. All the powers of, of sin will be broken. The chains and the shackles of the enemy will be broken. All the evil things that have run after you, purchased you, followed you until this day, you are free in Jesus' name. Thank God I see power here tonight. I see that river flowing to your side. Congratulations. Congratulations. This is your day of wonder. Where are you? I said, where are you? You need the mercy of God tonight. You're saying, oh Lord, I am here. Oh Lord, I am here. The power for your hour. The power for your hour. You remember, just tell the Lord. Oh Lord, now I grab it. Now I hold it. Now I believe it. It is yours in Jesus' name. Open your mouth and tell the Lord. Your hour has come. Your time has come. Power is going to flow into your life. Power for salvation. Power for healing. Power for deliverance. Power for dominion. Power for miracles is coming. It's coming. It's coming. You need the mercy of God. The mercy that will forgive your sin. The mercy that will save your soul. The mercy that will turn your life around. It's there. It's there. The river is flowing to you right now. Amen. It's bad and eyes closed. A miracle of mercy is waiting for you. Salvation is a miracle of mercy. Forgiveness is a miracle of mercy. It's coming to somebody there. Where is he? It's coming to somebody there. Where is she? I'm looking for her. Salvation. Salvation. It's coming to somebody there. Coming to one young man over there. Coming to that old man there. Where are you? I say, where are you? Let me see that hand. Salvation. Salvation. Forgiveness. Keep up that hand. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for your mercy. We thank you for your love. We thank you for your compassion. Whosoever shall call on the name of the Lord shall be saved. I pray for every one of these people. Forgive them in Jesus' name. I pray for every one of them. Take their sins away in Jesus' name. By your mercy, by your love, by your grace, let your salvation belong to them right now. I thank you because I know you have answered. Their sins are forgiven. Their souls are saved. Their names are written in the book of life in heaven. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. 
They are saved in Jesus' name. And everybody said, Are you ready for that healing? Ready for that miracle? Ready for that deliverance? It's a river, it will flow to you now. Raise up that hand. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you tonight. We bless your name today. God of love, God of mercy. You do not reject anyone. The poorest of us all. The most ignorant of us all. The weakest of us all. The most sick person among us all. That river of mercy is flowing to everyone right now. Lord, let the river of miracle get to everyone in Jesus' name. That mad person, I command, be well in Jesus' name. All that power of insanity, power of madness, I command you, come out in Jesus' name. And yeah, hunchback, goiter, elephant chassis, that big water hedge, I command all the swellings. Come out in Jesus' name. The one way is problem in your throat, you cannot swallow. Be healed in Jesus' name. That long standing sickness of asthma, I command you. Be healed in Jesus' name. That pain of ulcer, you cannot remain there. I command that ulcer be healed in Jesus' name. Cancer, you will not stay there. You will not claim that lie. All the cells of cancer in that body, right now at this time, Dry up in Jesus' name. The fibroids there, I command, drop out of that body. Lord, I pray for the one having tuberculosis, dry cough, and all that, and the thing is almost killing you. I command that dry cough. I command that tuberculosis be healed in Jesus' name. The blindness in the eyes of that individual. This is the day for the recovering of your sight. Lord, I pray that blindness will vanish away right now. Be healed. Open your eyes and see. Those who are deaf and dumb. The power of God comes in your ears and comes in your mouth right now. Begin to hear, begin to speak in Jesus' name. Pain of arthritis and the pain of broken bones that have not joined. I send for the power of God upon you right now. Be healed in Jesus' name. One leg shorter than the other. One hand shorter than the other. I send forth Christ's healing virtue upon you. Short leg, grow out right now. Short hand, grow out right now. Stroke and paralysis, be healed in Jesus' name.
all the attacks of evil spirits, small spirit, big spirit, whatever, I command all those things walking about in your body. Come out in Jesus' name. All the curse in your life, the yoke in your life, the bondage of the devil in your life, I break everything right now. I destroy everything right now. Be free in Jesus' name. I pray for those who are married here and they are barren. Lord, bring their miracle children. Brother, receive your miracle child in Jesus' name. Sister, receive your miracle children in Jesus' name. Lord, this is the day when poverty turns to prosperity. All impossibilities on your way, I clear it out of your way. Living on begging and be begging people, give me this, give me that, I cancel that from your life. The shame of poverty is removed from your life in Jesus' name. Your own land, your own inheritance, enemies are trying to drive you away. You're running for your life. But you're scared of life. All those enemies that are driving you away from your possession. I cancel their power from your life. Come back to your inheritance and enjoy your life and your possession in Jesus' name. Everywhere you go, your miracle will be there. Your inheritance will be there. All your tears that you are weeping before you came here, God, wipe everything away in Jesus' name. You are healed. You are delivered. You are liberated. Your prison doors are open. Come out in Jesus' name. Everywhere for everyone, miracle. Everywhere for everyone, healing. Everywhere for everyone, deliverance. From now on, the spirit of the conqueror is upon you. Rise up. You are more than a conqueror. Thank you, Lord, because I know you have answered. In Jesus' name we pray. I'm sure you are blessed. You can contact us through any of the phone numbers displayed on the screen. However, you can visit us in any of our church locations in the state. In particular, our headquarters church in Sam Ewang Estate, Leme, Abeokuta. Our fellowships hold on Sundays at 8 a.m. for the Sunday worship service, on Mondays at 6 p.m. for the expository and systematic study of the Bible, and then on Thursdays at 6 p.m. for Miracle and Revival service. God bless you as you join us same time, same station, next week.